Hello everybody and welcome back to my old Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in as fish today and we're checking out the game mode alt spawns. This is just going to be different things spawning on the um, on the, the areas that we go to. A bit different than normal. Uh, it'll essentially sort of flip over the profiles of each area. So as you can see here we have the cursed fish area enemies as well as this guy. Okay, I was expecting it to be all alternate enemies but it's not. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. We can deal with this, we can deal with this. Shotgun here. Oh god. Okay, so this is a lot of all enemies here, and I don't know, they're alternate, but I don't know if they're alternate every, like, as in like, if I re-roll again, and I come to this area, will it be these enemies again? I don't actually know. Right. Come on, dude. Get out of here. What a hard boss to kill. We got him in the end, though. Oh, we got a Kraken gun out of it as well. Eagle eyes, I think, sir. So. Um, Throne butt. Water boost, unlimited rolling, charge a wave while rolling, waves direct enemy projectiles, get even more ammo from pickups. Hypersomnia, though. We've been loving Hypersomnia recently. I'm going to stick with that trend. Okay, so in this area we've got the bots. Which is kind of sketch. We still get the same boss though. We still get the same boss, that's good to know. Got room because this pulls them in. Luckily Hypersomnia gave us a ton of damage there without him getting to do anything. Which is kind of what we're looking for. Probably three or four more shots. There you go, we got him. Oh my god, <laughs> I didn't see that laser coming, because obviously not an area I'd expect to see lasers in, and I walk right into it. Okay. Right, what do we actually want here? This is, I've not, I've not gone the, that far into this, uh, thinking process yet, so I could go with, like, shotgun shoulders or something. I'm probably gonna go with shotgun shoulders, just because I've got this weapon, and I've not tried out this weapon with the shotgun shoulders yet, so... I don't know how many plop guns there actually are available in the game for us to use, but I've got one now, so. Obviously a lot of enemies here you wouldn't expect. Okay, just just stay calm. Don't worry about the boss too much. Okay, worry about the boss a little more when it jumps directly at me. Oh, dude! Dude! Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from, little fella? So, it looks like the area spawns are static, because we got the same enemies in the first area again. So I'm imagining each area we go to, they will be static with whatever we see each time. But still, alternate spawns, it just mixes things up a little bit, doesn't it? Just makes things a little more interesting. We like that. We like that. Yeah, because we're getting the card guys here again, which honestly is really rough. The card guys are like really, really, really strong for this early on in the game. It's kind of awful to see them. Luckily, they stayed asleep for a very long time and apparently have a really hard time learning how to shoot. Because uh, even after waking up, they took a good while before they started actually attacking me, so... Micro shotgun, love it. This thing with eagle eyes would be very, very nice. Ooh, and we'll go with a needle as well, actually, as a melee weapon to hold us off. Oh, dude, the skull just disappeared. Are you kidding me? What the hell? I didn't realize the skull would disappear after a short amount of time. That's my plans ruined. But, wait, does shotgun shoulders work with micro shotgun? I don't actually think it does. Um, let's go with that instead, then. Oh my god. Oh my god, they, these guys have a lot of health for this area. Our weapon is not up to scratch at all. That took a while. Really need to use my roll more often. I don't really use it as this guy. Look at this. <laughs> it's hit like a million times for it to do anything. 
snare burst is kind of fun. Is that it? That is it. Okay. I'm just going to stick with my micro shotgun because I think with eagle eyes and a few other things, it could be really, really good. Um, I'm going to take alien intestines because I didn't have an active that I can spam pretty easily. Bit of extra damage, you know. These guys don't have on death effects yet, so take advantage of that. Just, just rolled right on into him. Sailed right on into him. Don't ask me why, I just did. But, yeah, definitely this is another challenge where going with favorable build to get um, better weapons early would probably be a good idea, because these, these enemies are um, quite late enemies, some of them, on some of the floors, and that is causing us some problems damage and ammo-wise. Shotgun, lovely. Eagle eyes with the shotgun, even lovelier. See, now those little things, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to shoot, but they will spread some poison if I do, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, exactly, look at that. Don't really want to be hitting them if I can avoid it. The little fella's gone. Oh my god, chill out, my guy. There's so much health. Oh god, that was so close. I don't even know why I shot that. In combination with the frogs, that is kind of an evil combo. Poison frogs running around all over the place if you're not careful. Luckily we were. Um, I'm going to go full damage set up here. If I can. Yeah, look at that. Get some of the frogs all roided up. Oh, hello. I did not see you there. I mean, you're very, very swiftly dead now, so not that it mattered. Screwdriver? I guess I'll hold the screwdriver, because we might be able to utilize it. Um, I guess if I'm going full damage setup, I might as well go trigger fingers, just so I can fire it that much faster with certain weapons. Obviously, shotgun, it's not really going to matter with. Are you... I just hit that gun with my screwdriver and it blew it up. It must have had just enough damage to it already to have for that to be its final hit. Oh, who's this guy? Where did he come from? That was like one of the little bandits. I'm confused. You can see the shotgun's already performing so much better with that damage boost that we get from... Uh, well, I say damage boost. Technically, the enemies have lower HP rather than us having higher damage. But in reality, it's effectively the exact same thing. Like, it, it, it doesn't really make any difference, does it? I'd like to, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do full damage setup here, but I need to play better than I'm currently playing. Like, a lot better, because at the minute... It's not not going well. Don't know why some of these card guys just refuse to shoot me. I'm guessing it's a it's a situation where normally by the time they show up in the game, the difficulty of the game has ramped up to the point where enemies are more aggressive. So having them early on makes them a lot less aggressive and therefore they barely shoot at you. I'm guessing it's something to do with that, but I don't actually know how like the aggression and stuff works with uh, difficulty scaling in this game. I don't know if it affects their, like, attack speed and delay and stuff. Oh man, stop, my guy. There you go. Triple blood rifle. Yes, please. Throne butt there. Yeah, I guess I'll take my throne butt. And we'll take that as well. Yeah, like even these guys is a rough thing to have on this area. Dude, the amount of robots right now is, uh... Too many robots. Give me that. Should be careful for all the random shitty spawns. Because it's getting on my nerves. Good, good. Goddamn explosive ammo. 
That's where you went. Where the hell did you get off to? Where's my crown at? <laughs> Anyways, so let's go with scarier face here, I think. The lightning crossbow here is doing us mighty well. Give me the lightning bouncer crossbow, that's what I really want. But it's taking out swaths of enemies pretty quickly. It's got a good bit of AoE to it. Although, it, with it being lightning, it is somewhat random as you just saw, dude. I don't want to die to some random mass fire, please. Okay. Please let me get some HP going on. I think I've got all the damage stuff now going on. Oh, God. Very nearly killed myself there. Oh, I'm so fucked here, aren't I? I'm surprisingly not. Can I, can I get off of one HP, though, please? Hey, there you go, game. Coming in clutch with a four HP chest. That's what I like to see. Oh! This game, man. This goddamn game. What the hell was that? What on earth was even that? Cool. Through we go. Okay, this is a decent weapon to, uh, to utilize early on. It's got good damage. Fifty damage on you is pretty good. Oh my god, I feel so terrible at this game right now. Right, let me go back. Let me, uh, let me, let me see about my starting weapon because I'm not particularly convinced, dude. I have like crap starting weapons right now. I've done like barely anything as fish. My god. Um. Ooh, yes. Starting with a laser weapon allows us to get this little little crown to help us out. I forgot about this guy. And then the ion cannon thing that barely matters because you're always moving in this game, so we should be okay. I like I like having a little friend fight with me, especially on a thingy like this. A challenge like this. Helps out a lot. And if we could get energy brain really early on, that would make everything even better. For now, we'll stick with good old... What's it called? This one? Impact wrists? They just bash things around the place. Right, might as well go through here. We got two of these in a row, wow. Go with that again. Good thing about enemies having less HP is even if my damage upgrades don't increase the damage of my laser dude, he'll be killing things quicker because it affects their HP, not my damage. So in that sense, it's a good thing. Kraken pistol I'll keep in my back pocket. Good, good, good. I'm having a lot of fun with nuclear throne recently. The, uh, the update, by the way, the uh, the one that I've been playing in the beta for a while, is very near to being fully launched. So those of you that don't have access to the beta, will be seeing this update come to the full version of the mod very shortly, which is really cool to see. Um, I don't use Absorbing Paws very much anymore. Let's give that a go. Ow. Dude, he is, he is killing everything, this little guy. Also, why did we just get that guy in here? That's to do those different spawns. Must be. Level 5. Go with that as well. Orbit is good here. Good bit of damage. Bit of bounciness as well. 
There's some some fellas here firing rockets. Don't much appreciate. Well, luckily, they're easy to kill. Look, like the moment we spawn in, he's like killed like three things immediately. He's just so on it. Dude, Mr. Mr. Big Rocket Man, that was uncalled for. Right now, game, you're going to give me energy brain really early on, aren't you? You know I want it. Oh, really? Almost level two there. Very nearly. There you go. Level two straight away. It's just nice to have a little fella helping you out and doing stuff for you. Having your back. It's not normal in Nuclear Throne that you have someone have your back. Not normal at all. But this little guy... He's pretty good. His AI is very good too, which is nice. It's a change. Most of the uh, friendly AI in Nuclear Throne is trash. Yet another death. I don't think they're going to stop anytime soon, unfortunately, for people that are uh, getting frustrated by them. Oh, dude, come on. Almost level 2 again. I mean, luckily, a starting weapon is very good here, so we're able to take them out pretty quickly, but I just don't play very well is the, is the main issue. It all comes down to the fact that I am bad at this game. I thought he'd spawn above, not below. I went down to get my frost knife. Oh, man. Like, this is my third video in a row recording. I'm, I'm, I'm backlogging uh, videos ready to take a week off um, to play Call of Duty, to be honest. Call of Duty comes out on the 25th. It's currently the 21st, so I'm basically just prepping all of my videos ready for when that comes out so I don't have to record for, like, an entire week. That's my plan, at least. Um, so I'm backlogging. And honestly, Nuclear Throne, as much as I love it, is not a game that I can play for, like, three hours straight. <laughs> like, even, even, like, two hours is, like... It's a lot for Nuclear Throne. I like to jump on, play for like an hour, um, and then jump off. Otherwise it gets to me, and I start playing really poorly. And that is, the evidence is, is, is apparent. I'm clearly playing pretty badly at the moment, so the evidence is there. We finally got Energy Brain, and it's clearly affecting our little friend as well, which we, uh, I think we already knew that, but... Are you kidding me with the explosive bullets? You need to chill, my guy. You need to chill. Right, we got, I got about one more run in me here. Got about one more run in me, so let's uh, let's just have a good time, shall we? Let's just have a good time. Level two right off the bat. No energy brain. We did get bloodlust though. That's decent. We'll take bloodlust. Two shotting those guys is uh, nothing to turn your nose up at. Bloodlust is already helping us out immensely. It's already healed us three times. Pull. Oh, that's a cool melee weapon. I've never seen that before. Nice. Triple blood. We threw, we threw. Eagle eyes, thank you. Got to be careful of all the many, many robots that are in here now. Uh, I find that funny. Eagle eyes with a blood weapon like this, a triple weapon, is uh, pretty good stuff. Oh! Telefragged me! Oh my goodness. I can't even. He telefragged me. I mean, I know that those crystals teleport, but goddamn, yeah. Th this this game mode is, is a, a pretty tricky one. There's definitely some cool challenges here. Let's quickly go back and take a look at some of the other game modes and see if there's any others that take our interest. That's all. Let's reset. So we got casual, hard mode, one hit wonder. Um, one hit wonder. You die and one hit most survival mutations disabled. That's kind of an interesting challenge. Loop start. No elite IDPD. That's nice. No throne generators, no hood. We've got quite a few that we haven't unlocked yet, though. 
Well, there's some pretty interesting ones here. I, could, I, I want to try out these two as well. Claustrophobia and Agrophobia. For bigger areas, more enemies, and smaller areas, um, and higher enemy density. I'm, I'm in, intrigued by both of those. I think they could be quite a lot of fun. But we've got quite a few things to look through here. Hopefully, you did, uh, guys did enjoy this episode nonetheless, even if it was a little bit on the shorter side. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.